All right, so when it says that two triangles are similar, or if it says they're congruent, the order in which it says is how they correspond. So if it says that triangle ABC is congruent with triangle DEF, that means that these are corresponding. So A and D are corresponding, um, and also AB. So this segment here is corresponding with this, um, so with DE right here. And what I like to do is, you know, I'm going to draw, redraw them so they're orientated the same way. So I'll just draw the other triangle here. Okay, so if I have triangle ABC is course corresponding or similar to DEF, I will write DEF here. And that way I'm not going to get messed up and disoriented, okay? So uh, EF is 6. And D, E, D, F is 2x plus 14, okay? So it, the ratio is between them. So if I could say 4x to 2x plus 14 is equal to um, 10 to 6, what I want to do is I want to try to set up ratios so that I have um, numbers in the denominator. Because if I have variables in the denominator, I'm going to have to use a cross product. But if I can just keep the numbers in the denominator and no variables, then I just need to multiply the fractions by the lowest common multiple, and then we're, we're laughing. Okay. So let's go ahead. How are we going to do that? Well, um, if I was to use this ratio here, uh, 2x plus 14, right, or this one right here, uh, to 6, so I could go 2x plus 14 to 6, right? That would be equal to 4x, right? So 4x to 10. So I don't have any um, variables in the denominator. I don't need to use the cross product. Now I need to determine what is the lowest common multiple of the denominators. I'm just going to get rid of those denominators. So multiples of 10, well, that's not going to work for 6. So the next one is 20. That's not going to work, but 30 will. So if I multiply both sides by 30, I will no longer have any fractions, right? So 30 divided by 6 is 5, and 30 divided by 10 is 3. So now I'm just going to have 5 times 2x plus 14 is equal to 3 times 4x. So we have 10x plus, that's going to be 50 and 20, so that's 70, right? Is equal to 12x. And I'm going to isolate x on the right-hand side by subtracting 10x from both sides. So let me just switch colors. So I'll we'll have 2x is equal to 70. So then x is equal to 35. I could change this to x equals 35 just to make it proper. Okay, again, if you don't set the ratios up like that, you can use something called a cross product. We talked about it in a warm up during class, that's fine. Um, but ideally, that you would set it up so that you purposely have no variables in the denominator, just to make life easier for yourself. Okay, again, I want to draw these triangles. So I'm going to say that there's a big triangle. It doesn't have to be to scale. That would be this whole triangle here, the whole thing, right? And then since these are parallel, those angles there are congruent. These are also congruent. So. I have this other triangle over here that's similar to it, okay? So this little one was 12 and 28, right? And then the big one was 12 plus 2x plus 4, so that's 16 plus 2x, right? And then we have 56 here for the long side. Okay, so I'm looking for some ratios, and I want to make sure that the ratios have denominators that are um, not variables, okay? So if I was to look at uh, 
the length of this side, that corresponds with this side here. So if I go 16 plus 2x, so 16 plus 2x to 56, right? That is equal to um, 12 to 28. 12 to 28. I think to make life easier, so you know, common factors, we, we could make these have the same denominator, right? Because if we just doubled this, so the, another way to do this would be to double this and then get rid of the denominator. Let's try that strategy because it's there. Um, if I was just going to multiply this by times 2 and times 2, then we would have, okay, so 16 plus 2x over 56 is equal to... 24 over 56 and then I can just ignore the denominators now right so I only need to make sure that the numerators are equal because I already have equal denominators so 16 plus 2x equals 24 I subtract 16 from both sides so I have 2x is equal to um, that would be so x is equal to 4. All right, these ones are a little bit tricky because if we look at the, um, the proportions, so first of all, this 2x minus 13 is, um, if we look at the ratio between uh, that and the, uh, what am I doing here? <laughs> Uh, so, for example, 2x minus 13 to 3, right? That is equal to 24 to 8. Okay. So if we crisscross them, right? Because um, they're basically reflections of each other. I don't need to redraw these. It could be even more confusing if I do that. Um, and then now let's look at this. Well, you know, I could think about what's the least common multiple of these denominators. Multiply everything. That would be 24. But this already simplifies to something easier than that. So let's just rewrite that. 2x minus 13 over 3. And we know that this is equal to just 3. So now to clear the fractions, all I have to do is multiply everything, both sides, by 3. That will um, alleviate the fractions. So I'll have this cancels, right? So I have 2x minus 13 is equal to 9. And if I add 13 to both sides, 2x is equal to 22. So x equals 11.